Kendra Cavasell, After Buzz TV, sitting here with Michael Cassidy, who plays Tyler on Men at Work. Yeah. Another hard Men at Work, right. <laughs> I'll just say. Yeah, we work very hard here. <laughs> yeah, so I was just talking to James, and we were just talking about kind of the concept of the show, how it came about, yeah. and um, I wanted to kind of get into the interpersonal relationships. How would you break down your character and how he kind of vibes with the other guys? Okay, uh, well, Tyler, I would say Tyler is the guy who is like, always knows the bottom line he's the guy who says it like it is um he's he's like a writer he's a little bit more um realistic than everybody he sometimes pulls people back sometimes he's the voice of reason sometimes he gets a little out of control sort of in between those two when you say out of control what comes to mind is the toilet yeah. the awesome toilet <laughs> that was in i think it was the last episode how did you how did that come about it was just a, a funny funny setup yeah i mean i a lot, a lot of that stuff is real, like, um, not for me, but that toilet exists. I don't know that the lights and the voice do, but the features, the steam and the this and the that, yeah. that stuff exists. Yeah. And that's a real toilet, and that's absolutely something that Tyler would have. And, uh, and in that way, he's definitely eccentric, as you sort of pointed out. Yeah, yeah. for sure. And then how do you think he um, kind of just interacts with the other characters, with, with Milo, with Gibbs and yeah. Neil? Well, I definitely think that Tyler and Gibbs sort of can r go off on their own a little bit and they get when they get together it can be a little bit of like uh, out of control or a little tangenty and they're both like single guys who are always looking for somebody to hook up with and so there's that element and they feed into each other's um, scoundrelness a little bit maybe and uh, and then you know I I it seems like my character is constantly making fun of Neil, the Adams character, more so than everyone else. Maybe I'm wrong, but it seems like that's how what our relationship is. <laughs> and then, uh, and then, yeah, Danny, Milo, and I are roommates. And uh, and as you said in the toilet episode, you know, he was my new roommate, and he needed to understand the rules a right. little bit. Yeah. But at the same time, he kind of balances Tyler out. I think. Yeah, definitely. I I think he's. Yeah, Tyler's eccentric in certain ways, and Milo's eccentric in certain ways, and I think they complement each other really well, for sure, yeah. And so, and then just to take it to your background, you've done dramatic work, yeah. and then, so this is one of your first sitcoms you got involved with, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, I did a sitcom pilot a couple of years ago, and I've done a couple of guest stars on shows, um, but this is, yeah, definitely the first one that's gone more than one episode. And how do you feel about the the? Com Co the comedy side, uh, aside from well, you know, I did, drama. I did a lot of comedy before and during when I was doing shows like Smallville and Privileged and The OC and stuff like that. I was doing a lot of stage comedy, so improvisation, mm -hmm. and I did a lot of theater. I do a lot of theater, so comedy is super comfortable for me. I had to get a little used to a bunch of cameras and stuff like that instead of one at a time. But other than that, it's been a super. Mm -hmm. It's a very comfortable. Um, medium for me for sure mm -hmm. it's like doing a play it's like doing a new play every week mm -hmm. yeah that's true and uh, tell me more about the words men men at work say you know the heterotextual right yeah. right yeah we've got the heterotextual um the truth bomb truth bomb there you truth go bomb. that's good you know what's going on <laughs> I've been watching the show. <laughs> yeah, what do we say? Truth bomb. Oh, yeah, that's James's thing, right? Boom. <laughs> Truth bomb. Boom. Yeah. And then we all sort of took a shot at that. That was funny. Right. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Is there any sort of word you What's use daily? Like your own vernacular? Oh, absolutely. I think I say the word bonkers to describe things a lot. I think I say, I mean, a lot of it is uh, inappropriate language. I definitely swear a lot and we use strange things, but I would say I use the words like gnarly and bonkers the most, yeah. I would say. <laughs> and then just quickly, how, what do you, what are your hopes for the show? Where do you want to see it go? I want to make 300 more episodes. This is like such a fun gig. It's such a great group of people. I don't want to stop. I don't want any of them to leave when we have breaks. I want everyone to just hang out all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It needs to be an hour long. I'm always like, it's finished? Yeah, yeah. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad. To, that's how I feel at the end of the week. I'm like, can we just do it for a few more days? Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, thanks for joining us at AfterBuzz and uh, tune in to AfterBuzzTV.com to check it out. Right on. Thank you.